And meanwhile, there's some exciting news from downtown Abilene as two new businesses are set to open this month. And with that growth, other locally owned places are stepping up to help them as they start out. KRBC's Kelsey Pittman dives into how the city of Abilene continues to grow. It had to be different and it had to be something like Abilene's never seen before. Crystal Staggs knew where she wanted her bar to be located. Downtown is the heart of Abilene and so uh, we wanted to be here. Allowing easy access for those who work downtown. I just wanted to walk across the street, have a drink and go home. Last month there were about eight projects in development or pre-development for downtown. Most of what's going on right now is along the lines of the restaurant and, and bar scene. Um, there is a project going on now for, it's a small residential project. It's gonna add 18 units of uh, rental uh, apartments. Even with the growth of nightlife? They come down for dinner and they'll stop at Vagabond for a pizza and come here for dessert and then hopefully go to the green room for a cocktail afterwards. Existing restaurants like Cypress Street welcoming newcomers. We're all striving to help each other to do better, to bring business to each other's stores and um, just be good neighbors. But parking sometimes making it hard for new neighbors to come. We do have some issues with parking. A lot of times it's not immediately what people think about, but uh, in terms of getting a company down here uh, that wants to bring you know, 50 or 60 employees uh, to, to park for eight hours, that's where we really have the problem. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.